Welcome to the Cabral Concept, where board-certified naturopath and integrative health practitioner Dr. Stephen Cabral shares how he was diagnosed at the age of 17 with a life-altering illness and given no hope for recovery. It was only after studying and traveling all over the world did he discover how to combine ancient Ayurvedic healing practices with state-of-the-art naturopathic and functional medicine to fully rebalance the body and re-energize it with life. It's time to discover how to get well, lose weight, and finally feel alive again. And now, here's your host, Dr. Stephen Cabral. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. We're here with a brand new week of the Cabral Concept. Each and every Monday, we get into our mindset and motivation, not just to inspire you, but to actually get you to take action moving towards your ideal life, which is really what it's all about. So today's show is going to be absolutely no different. We are going to teach you how to end procrastination in seconds in order to get more done. And the reason why I share this with you is because I think most of us have more to do than we have day, right? So we end up running out of time by the end of the day. We often do this because of in proper scheduling. I'm going to talk about that in a moment, not the to-do list, but the actual schedule, but also overestimating the amount we can get done in one day while being so distracted by all of the, well, distractions that are all around us in the world. So what I want to share with you is just a couple simple, quick tips. They've worked for me. I also teach them in our Integrative Health Practitioner Institute inside of Mastery, and I want you to put them to work for you right away. So we're going to dive right into it basically get into five things that you can do to just end the procrastination. What does that mean? Well, you know that you're supposed to be doing a workout. You know that you're supposed to be getting ready to start dinner. You know that you're supposed to be studying for that certification or for school. Uh, You know that you're supposed to be uh, writing that blog post or book that you wanted to or recording a podcast like this one, right? So it's like, you know you're supposed to be doing the thing, but you're delaying. So let's not delay anymore because it's something that we want to do. And most likely it's something that you want to do because one, it's for your family, it's in service of someone else, or you're trying to do it to better yourself as well. Maybe it's relationship wise, career wise, financial wise, body transformation wise, health wise, but it's something that you've at least attributed that's going to move you closer to that ideal life of yours. So that's why it's so important that we do the thing and we don't say, hey, I'll just do it tomorrow. Oh, today got away from me. These are all the sayings, right? Don't don't let the sayings continue to run your life. Let's actually begin to take control of our own life ourselves. So the first one is this. Most important thing. Think about this just for a moment. Most important thing in life is to is to basically remove distractions, right? So you've got a lot to do. How do you remove distractions? Well, you think about what are my distractions in life? Number one thing is this is your phone, right? It's the number one thing. Think about this just for a moment. When you don't have your phone on you or you put it on airplane mode, what else left is there for you? Think about that. For most people, that's it. It's literally it. That's it. They're not playing with a deck of cards. They're not rolling dice on their desk. They're not tying their shoes. Like there's, that's it. For most people, the major distraction is their phone. And I'll get to the computer in just a moment. But that phone that we have is with us all the time for most people, 99% of people, right? Of adults. And it is an endless source of dopamine. It's like, oh, let me check the weather. Let me check the weather for next week. Let me check the weather for next month. Oh, let me look at the sports scores. Let me see what's going on in the news. What's going on in social media. The next thing we know, we've just gone through 20, 30 minutes or more. The average person spends like four hours a day, it said, just on their phone. So we have to keep in mind that that is the number one source. So if right away, and I would just invite you to try this for 10 minutes, that's all. Turn your plane, turn your phone to airplane mode. That's it. Bottom line, just turn it to airplane mode. And if you know how to, and you can just configure this and learning how to do it as easy as typing it in, into Google, but it's like, just set up your VIPs. If it's an emergency, these people can get through, but that's it. That's it. Like literally bottom line. And so now you can't use your phone. You can't check email. You can't get on social media. You can't get on the internet. You can't use any apps. So that's it. So now what you're left is, well, now whatever is in your home, distracting you. And I believe that no matter who you are, everybody needs a desk. So they need a desk, which is where work takes place. Why? Because 
it's kind of like bed. You want certain areas of your health to denote like this is what we do in bed. This is what we do at our desk at work or in the house. This is what we do when we go to the gym, right? We're there for a specific reason. So what you want to do next is you want to clean that desk. And again, I'm, I have to give myself my own advice because my desk by the end of the day, uh, listen, I'm here for eight to 10 hours a day at my desk, right? There's a lot going on on this desk and I've got a big desk. So I've got papers, I've got books. If I'm looking around right now, I've got a box of tea right here. I've got products. I've got all sorts of things that I'm either going to use for my own research, my own reading. Uh, I might be using it for a product review, whatever it might be, but I've got a cluttered desk by the end of the day. The very best thing that you can do is before you start work or ideally the night before is you declutter your desk. That means pile things up where they need to be piled, but it should be clean. It should be neat and you should not be distracted. Basically, there should be ideally nothing there. So I try to, to keep my desk by the end of the day as essentially nothing's on it. So that means that during the course of a day, I have to put stuff on it. That's it. Like in order for me to use that thing. Why do I say do it the night before? The reason is that decluttering or cleaning is a great form of procrastination, right? I'm like, oh, I need to clean my desk. It might, it might take me like a half hour. It doesn't take me a half hour to clean my desk, right? So we all give ourselves other distractions. Cleaning is another distraction. Yes, it has to get done, but does it have to get done while you're doing work? Well, the answer is probably no, it doesn't have to get done at that moment. So what I do is before I leave, I have to declutter my desk. How long does that take? Maybe three minutes before I have to leave. Why? Because, well, I want to get home, right? That's the thing. Or I want to get to the gym, wherever I have to go. I don't want to be cleaning my desk. I'd rather do that thing. So the reason we're, we're procrastinating is because we don't want to do the thing, even though we know it's going to benefit us. It's not going to benefit us in that second. So we're like, well, I could put it off a bit, right? So declutter your desk, ideally at the end of the day, not to start your day. All right. So now picture this. You're at your desk. Your phone's on airplane mode. Clean desk. You've got nothing to do. Right? Literally, you're just going to sit there then and do nothing. No music, no anything. You're, there's no distractions, right? No noise, no podcasts, no music. You're just there. So it's like, well, I might as well get to work, right? So now you open your laptop or whatever device that you might be using for work. Again, this could be done for anything. Again, you, you just use what I'm teaching you here to then carry it over to whatever type of thing you're looking to do. Like, again, put on your workout clothes, go down to your basement, wherever your gym is, and you can just stand there, right? You can just literally stand there with nothing to do, or you could do what? Get to work. All right. So let's say you are at your desk though. You open up your laptop. If you're like me, you've got a thousand windows open. You've got so many different things that could distract you. What do you need to do? Minimize all of those windows or close them up. There's a nice little thing called one tab that will save all of your tabs on your browser. So again, if you're like me with a thousand tabs open, you just click on one tab and it just saves them by date. So you can do that. If you want to open them all again, you can open them all again. So what this enables you to do is just stare now at what? A blank desktop, essentially a blank screen. So now you've got your phone off, You've got your notifications off on your computer, hopefully. They're one and the same with your phone. You've got a clean desk, and you've got a blank computer, okay? Don't allow yourself, again, no distractions, no apps, no anything else. All right. So again, we're trying to get rid of anything that can distract us. That's the bottom line. So next thing to do, and, and hopefully that you can, you can turn your phone on airplane mode in 10 seconds. You can declutter your desk, even if you didn't do it the night before, within five minutes maximum. You can go on your computer, you can close all your internet tabs within, let's say, a couple minutes. That's it. Let's say I'll give you a minute to do that or two minutes to do that, all right? So now we're at like seven, eight minutes. Okay. So now your next thing to do is you've got one thing to look at on your computer. That's your calendar. All right. So I did a podcast a while back. I'll link it up today. Today's episode is 2355. Go to stephencabral.com forward slash 2355 for the takeaways, all the links from today's show notes. And while you're at it, if you haven't picked up a free copy of my book, The Rain Barrel Effect, pick up a free copy as well for you or someone else. So here's the thing. When you go to follow your to-dos, you should not have a to-do list. Get rid of the to-do list. Everything needs to be scheduled on your calendar. I was talking about this in the very beginning of the show. Most of us are overwhelmed by everything we have to do. The problem is we haven't scheduled it. And 
that means then our to-do list is always bigger than the amount of day that we have, right? More do's than day. So what we have to do is we have to schedule it in the day. If it doesn't fit in the day, then it goes to the next day. And then you can easily begin to prioritize, well, it needs to get done. Then that means something else needs to open up in your calendar. If you can't make it happen, the thing can't happen. Because if it can't happen, you just get frustrated at yourself. Well, again, you only have so many hours. So schedule your day. So again, throw out the to-dos. I've got, again, I've, check out the podcast because I have a full episode on how to do this. And it was one of the more popular shows. So I would love for you to check that out. And let's see if I could find it right here for you. Well, again, the best thing to do is just go to stevencabal.com forward slash 2355 and we'll link it up there. Because all you need to do now is, again, 10 seconds to shut off your phone. We'll give you 20 seconds, all right? Uh, you've got five minutes to declutter your desk. You can do it in five minutes. You can just stack stuff up, put it on the floor if you need to. Just get it off of your desk for right now. Then you're going to check your calendar for a minute or two. That's it. So we're at 10 minutes. This is the max that you need. That's that's it. That's literally the max. You can set a timer if you want because now everything is clear and you're just following your to-do for the day. The reason why this is so important is that you're then just turning the mind off for Oh, I've got to do this. No, no. All you have to do is what's right there in front of your encounter. And you need to then follow the time designated for the task. And if you do that, you'll always get done everything that you need in a day. The only time you could mess up is if it took you more time to do the allotted task, right? Or there wasn't enough allotted time for the task. So then all we do is you just say, okay, in the future, instead of 15 minutes for this, I know that it's going to take me double that 30 minutes. Well, then you need to give yourself 30 minutes for that task. Or maybe it's just the first time. The first time you do anything it takes twice as long. I mean, that's just the bottom line. So things get easier and they get faster the more that you do them. I mean, again, that's just the way that these the, the world works. So it's something to take into consideration, but you can always build in a 30-minute buffer throughout your day, once a day if you need to. That is your catch-up time. All right, that's your time to catch up. I have that in my schedule as well. But also, if you're already caught up, well, then that's free time. You set a 30-minute timer, and then you go play on social media. You go do whatever it is that you want, right? But if you schedule it in there, you are good to go. So again, airplane mode, nothing on your desk, nothing on your desktop. You review your calendar, get to work, right? Well, then what's the last thing? Well, I just don't want to do it, right? That's the last thing that enters in the head. I've got nothing to do. I can't use my phone. I can't get on the internet. I'm, I'm basically just staring here at my desk, but yet I still don't want to do it. All right. So in mastery, we teach something called the five minute rule. I used to call it the two minute rule. You can use either one, to be honest with you. Two minutes is enough, but what we call it five and five gives you the definite benefit of the doubt. It's that anything that you don't want to do, like a workout, for example, most people are like, oh, I don't want to work out. Totally get it. I used to do this with clients all the time. Like, let's let's just get started. I just say to them, let's just warm up. That's it. And I would just have them do like lateral lunges, or I'd have them do a plank, or I'd have them do some like stick overhead squats, just breathing, just easing into it. And I'm like, hey, how was that? Oh, okay, that's three minutes. Let's just give it another couple minutes. I would then get into that first circuit, like the first tricep, three exercises, push, pull, and maybe some like rotation or something. And then after that, I'm like, all right, it's been five minutes. Do you want to continue or do you want to stop? I would always give them the out. Just say, I only need five minutes from you. That's it. Oh, honestly, after five minutes, if you're done, you're done. I can't remember a time that a client said no. And we're talking about thousands of appointments, right? Well, probably not thousands of people that said that. I would probably say it's hundreds. So it's like hundreds of times it came up over the course of, well, training for a long time. So, you know, that's the thing is you give yourself the five minutes. I've told myself the same exact thing. I've literally told myself the same exact thing. It's like sometimes you just don't want to do it. Even if you love the thing, that day sometimes you just don't want to. So you just say, listen, you're just going to start for five minutes. And after that, if you really don't want to do it, I, I tell my daughters the same thing. If you really don't want to do it, we're not going to do it. That's it. And we just start with five minutes. And almost always you will find that all it took was a little momentum. The momentum is just giving yourself a little bit of a kick. That's all that it is. And you're just saying, listen, I have a way out. If I don't really want to do this after five minutes, I can stop. I've, again, I say that all the time. I'm even like with my research. I love to read. I love research. But I'm like, ah, I don't really want to do it right now. But I just say, listen, you're going to look up this first thing, you know, this first paper. You're going to start to read it. If you really don't want to after five minutes, then you're done. I've said that over and over. I mean, if it's happened, it's such a rare occurrence that I don't follow through. And it's because it, I get the interest gets peaked with the action, right? 
It's like you all have all this overwhelm. You have all this anxiety. All of that goes away with action. It really does. And you're like, oh, I'm making momentum. I'm making progress. And that's what the mind wants. The mind wants to know that it's on the right track. We're just like little kids, right? Oh, like, oh, we're making progress. We're doing something good. We're moving towards our goal. It feels good. I'm learning something new. This is exciting. I'm getting my little, you know, dopamine hits right there. So you have to understand is that procrastination can be overcome. But I've found that right now in this day and age, there's just too many distractions. That's the problem is like, we have so many other opportunities for everything else we could do. We could chat with a friend through text, uh, a spouse, partner. We can get on social media. We can leave comments. We can watch a video on YouTube. We can listen to a podcast. We can do a million things, a million things. But if you take the internet away, like if you take Wi-Fi away, cellular away, and it's only there for emergency contact, like go back to like the 90s, what are you doing, Right? You've got time. So think about it that way. And the last piece of course is don't do that to-do list. Schedule it. Put it in the calendar. Give yourself the time to do it and then make it happen. So hopefully today's uh, show was helpful. As always, please do feel free to share this show with anyone you believe it could serve. Take care, everyone. Have a great day. Before you go, I wanted to ask you this question. What if I could teach you in just a couple of hours how to transform your thyroid, hormones, adrenal, cholesterol, blood pressure, blood sugar, weight loss, energy, mood, brain, pregnancy, anti-aging, or many other health-related issues? After 20 years in private practice, after seeing and overseeing a quarter of a million client appointments, I sincerely feel I have the real-world data and have found the answer you've been searching for. So what I've done is spent hundreds of hours of my own time refining what you need to know in order to uncover your underlying root cause health issues and then begin to rebalance the body and bring it back to a state of robust health and wellness. I'm going to teach you exactly what I do in my private practice so you can understand how you got here and now what you need to do in order to heal. You'll receive all of the important success checklists, protocols, and even ways to customize it to make the program fit your busy life. And you'll get all of this at a fraction of the price. Let me save you the time, money, energy, stress, and frustration of not knowing what to do next. Instead of reading dozens of books on the topic and seeing multiple practitioners, I will condense everything that you need to know in just a few hours of video tutorials that you can watch and listen to anywhere. Together, we will make this healing process an enjoyable one that you can take with you for the rest of your life. I wish you all of the best of health and happiness, and I hope to be able to guide you on your healing journey through my health results accelerators. Simply choose the health imbalance you're currently suffering from, and by the end of today, you'll know what went wrong and how to get well again. I guarantee it. For details, head over now to stephencabral.com forward slash courses.